students last three reactions are remaining from the chemical reactions of phenols in that first one that is oxidation of phenols so what is meant by oxidation oxidation means addition of oxygen so addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen you know about it removal of hydrogen or increase in oxidation state already we have studied in redox reaction in 11th standard now how the oxidation takes place of the phenol c here if we take the example of phenol that is a carbolic acid so phenol structure is benzene ring attached with oh group with alternate double single bond now see here when this phenol undergoes oxidation in presence of for oxidation oxidizing agents are used either chromic anhydride or other oxidizing agents may be used na2cr2o7 that is sodium dichromate with h2so4 dilutation so for so it is used as a oxidizing agent any one of them is used at a time so phenol when undergoes oxidation the hydrogen from this oh is replaced and here addition of oxygen is takes place at its a para position so this removal of hydrogen that is the oxidation and addition of oxygen that is also oxidation so it is takes place in presence of chromic anhydride or sodium dichromate with sulfuric acid so any one of the oxidizing agent is used for the oxidation of phenol so what do we get at the product this oxygen to complete its valency single bond is converted into double bond and this benzene ring also change its position of the double bond to come according to valency of this carbon the double bonds are shifted here and at this position this oxygen is added so phenol is converted into so phenol is converted into benzoquinone the name of this compound is benzoquinone o n e ending that is ketonic group here c double bond o group is present here c double bond o group is present actually carbon is here so diketone compound or generally we can say diketone compound or the benzoquinone is formed so colorless compound is converted into dark colored or pink colored compound that is a benzoquinone so when phenol is converted into benzoquinone when they undergo oxidation so phenol when undergo oxidation this oxidizing agent supply nascent oxygen for the oxidation of this phenol and here removal of hydrogen from this oxygen and from this carbon also removal of hydrogen is takes place and addition of oxygen is takes place so we get the product that is benzoquinone see the position of this double bond o double bond o so according to valency of this two carbon atom the position of this double bond in the benzene ring is changed and we get benzoquinone as a dark colored product from the phenol now second one is there catalytic hydrogenation next reaction that is catalytic hydrogenation of phenol catalytic hydrogenation of hydrogenation of phenol so phenol when undergo catalytic hydrogenation so what is meant by hydrogenation hydrogenation means addition of hydrogen hydrogenation means addition of hydrogen you know about it now what happens see so when 
phenol that is OH group containing or attached to the benzene ring with alternate double single bond here when it is undergoes a hydrogenation that is addition of H2 takes place and always a hydrogenation takes place catalytic hydrogenation takes place in presence of nickel catalyst powdered nickel is used at about 433 temperature at a high temperature this uh, vapors of phenol actually this vapor form phenol is used uh, used in a vapor form so vapor form of phenol treated with a hydrogen gas and this mixture is passed over this powdered nickel about 433 kelvin what happened this hydrogen is gets added to this all carbon atoms present on this benzene ring so this uh, here already ch group is present at this all position so ch is converted into ch2 ch2 here also ch2 so addition of hydrogen is takes place and we get the product that is oh as it is attached to this six membered ring with single covalent bond only single bonds are there due to addition of hydrogen is takes place here here ch2 group is there again here ch2 so the name of this compound is this is the cyclohexane with oh so e replaced by ol so what is the name cyclohexanol so cyclohexanol is formed cyclohexanol that is the aromatic singly bonded aromatic ring attached to the oh group so in catalytic hydrogenation phenol is converted into cyclohexanol now next one one more last reaction from phenol that is a reduction of phenol so a reduction of phenol so this is also most important and simple reaction so in reduction of phenol reduction means what is meant by reduction addition of what is meant by reduction addition of hydrogen or removal of removal of what removal of oxygen that is called as a reduction so how the reaction takes place see when phenol is treated with a reducing agent that is a zinc with alternate double single bond is here when it is treated with the zinc powder and the mixture is heated this phenol undergoes reduction means removal of oxygen takes place this oxygen is removed and this hydrogen gets as it is here at this position so what do we get the products here this benzene ring remains as it is means at this six position there is already ch group is there so no need to write a h separately so this is the benzene is formed and the byproduct is zinc with oxygen zno so plus zno zinc oxide is removed as a byproduct so here we get benzene from phenol so phenol is converted into benzene when they undergoes a reduction when it is heated with phenol when heated with see what is the reduction of phenol phenol when heated with zinc then it gives benzene with the byproduct that is zno so these all reactions are most important for all exams and here we complete the reactions of phenols